Oh, hi there. You'll have to excuse me, I have a bit of a backache. I've been working hard. Let me let me just adjust this. I got a new standing desk. It's adjustable by a lever underneath. They sent me the child's version. Why'd I ask for the peewee size? That's on me. That's a, that's a mistake. That's a costly one. Uh, that hurts, the old wallet. If only there was a better desk. I, I wish, unless I'm cheesy. Just deal with it, that's your problem. So we got ourselves a standing desk. This is Bamboo Boy. He's a glorious long beast. This is the longest desk I've ever had. So today we review it, the Smart Desk 2 from Autonomous. This is probably the best bang for buck for the features you're getting, Smart Desk wise. This thing is more smarter than I am. Well, that's obvious. I still make the decisions around here. I buy the toilet paper. One time he ordered it, so what? So for those who remember, I had a standing desk years ago and then I sold it when I moved to Thailand. $1,400 that desk cost me with a lever system. I wanted to get another desk, but not a $1,400 desk. Like, give me a break over here. So I was watching a Gerald Undone video. He reviews camera tech and stuff and this guy thoroughly investigates everything. He compares things like the best HDMI cables. He'll compare 20 of them. Like which one works from 20 feet and like he's thorough. And he recommended this desk. He was like, for the price, this is the cheapest desk and it's solid. And I was like, so I looked into it. I emailed them. Would they send me one to review it? They said no. So full disclosure, they did send me this for review, but that doesn't mean it's a piece of trash and I'm just gonna promote anything. Like this is the one I wanted. This is the one I would have bought. I would have bought this, I promise you. If they didn't respond to that email, uh, you suckers. You sent me the desk, I would have bought it. Oh, you lost. <laughs> the other desk I told you guys about a couple weeks ago was a bit cheaper. It's a good desk, but it doesn't have the features this has, like automatic preset adjustment abilities. How are the cords doing? How are we doing on them cords? Anything gonna explode? Oh, I wonder if that's the perfect height for me to stand. I wonder. Oh wow, how convenient. Wow. You know what's funny? I set this at a certain height, and now I think it's a little, I think I grew taller from using this desk. Do standing desks make you taller? It's proven by science. I just grew about half an inch. I'm six foot nine. So I've been using this thing for a couple weeks and my upper back pain has lessened so much, it's barely even there. I really got a stab in there, and then I'm questioning, like, am I just stabbing into my spine and hurting it? All I know is sitting down too long, no matter how good your chair is, it's too much pressure on the spine. We, humans were never meant to have that position. You can't see any of that. I was doing a whole dance down here. God damn it. But sitting puts all the pressure on your spine and your it compacts your anus. You're having trouble moving the old bells. It's because you're holding it in with a chair. You're just plugging it up there, you butt plug asshole. So there's a certain freedom that comes with once you raise this up, it's like, oh, this is new. You get things done, you're more productive. Proven, there was a study. Six people had work to do. The ones that were sitting down all died. Now don't go kidding yourself thinking, oh, I just stand all day now. Zero problems. Like, humans aren't meant to stand either. We're meant to walk. The ideal solution would be getting that treadmill underneath. Then you're walking, like Dr. Greger. But some of us work at computers for many hours and we have to find some solution, and I do believe this is it. You alternate between the two positions and it's very easy to go back to, isn't it? How you doing? By the time you've sat in your chair, you're ready to work again. 
So about the desk, I got the bamboo finish. They have other ones that are slightly cheaper. Oak, black, white, walnut, and white oak. 379 American for those ones. I bumped it up to 429 on the bamboo version. I just, I thought, that's natural. Sure, the bamboo slats are probably glued together with a formaldehyde-based glue that I'm breathing in as we speak, but that's fine. Give yourself a challenge. Can you get rid of it faster than it comes in? I bet I can. Honestly, I stopped caring. I was going to build this toxin-free home, and it's like, it's so hard to get the things you want all so toxin-free. I do my best, but I bought some polyester curtains the other day. It's like, what? There's no cotton ones. If you want to sew yourself and do all this stuff, then doors are open for you. But back in the real world, where we don't know much, you buy yourself a bamboo desk and you breathe to tell about it. It feels like a solid desk even up here. What's the maximum height? That's going to hit the microphone. I've already done it. It's like up here. It's high. There's four presets. So I have number one is sitting at the lowest position. Number two is standing. And then you could have like three is my girlfriend's standing height. It would be slightly lower. So I like that. They thought of my girlfriend. You're so nice. There's two holes pre-drilled on each side for cable management. If you have things, I should have done that. <laughs> but this could wire through there and then it looks a lot neater. I'm just a cluttered mess. It's a great desk. I highly recommend it. It's pretty cheap and it should last. It's got a five year warranty. Most of them are like one year if you're lucky. I can't think of anything. The only thing I would change is the lowest distance would be nice to be even lower, but the more I think about it, just get a keyboard tray. Every desk is like this. It's like it's too high. If it was to be lower, then your monitor would be too low. So just get a little keyboard tray and then you're down here and then everything's good here. You don't want your monitor low so you're looking down all the time then you got the hunch neck, the smartphone neck. Uh, who sent me a message today? Oh no, a car. Part of me wanted it super high to like reverse all the years of slouching, but I think that would be wrong as well. And definitely not on the ceiling, but some happy medium where you're like, oh yeah, this is pretty good. I could even raise it a bit more, but yeah, this is cool. And now that I'm thinking, that might be too low. Keyboard tray, don't get the tray. It'll kill you. But if we raise it, don't you dare. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna get the tray. This link's down below. So if you're in the market for a standing desk, I don't make money off this purchase. I wouldn't tell you if this wasn't the one I decided to buy. This is the one. The other one's nice too. It was between those two. I do like the reclaimed elm. I ain't gonna lie to you. That is nicer looking desk. And I might have this one over there and that one right here. And we find a way to make that work. But they're both great desks and this is autonomous. This one has much less radioactive fields coming off it too. The other one's okay. It came to here, but this one's like, I have to go right up to the motor to even get a reading. So there's something better shielded about this. And this is a dual motor. That other one's a single motor that might collapse hard. That might, <laughs> it's like this has both legs working at the same time. This is why they have the five year warranty probably. So thank you for letting me sell out today. This is a standing desk channel now. We just review desks and chairs and other furnishings. It's good times, we're evolving the network. Uh, thank you for becoming a part of it. So I'm gonna leave. Thank you for watching the video today. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down. If you use a toilet desk, you built a special desk around your shithole, you never get up from it. Just maybe take a walk, asshole. Get a bum hose at least. Links down below. Alright, we're done. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.